Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Krovix and today I am back with Tiaria. And I do apologize guys for being gone for so long. Well, I haven't been gone. I've just been really, really lazy about doing my videos. And I, I did them with Nick and all, but then I just like completely just spaced out on even like uploading them. And then, yeah, stuff happened and crap. And it got really to the point where I had some videos uploaded and... Okay, uh, I don't know. Um, sorry. I had some videos uploaded and when I went to go post them up, like I think last week or two weeks ago, they were gone from my my laptop and that's where I upload all my videos from, obviously. And yeah, it made me pissed because I was going to upload those ones. It was uh, Minecraft and yeah, Minecraft with from the Challenge Tower World with me and Nick and my cousin and a Diablo 3 episode. And yeah, they were deleted. And as you guys can see now, it is obviously not Halloween. Because for those of you who have Tiaria, you can get the Halloween update. We already have it. So, really, I don't know if, uh, if we could get in trouble already. But it's kind of obvious you could. You just change your day to like Halloween and you get all this cool crap. And you get costumes. And I got the Grim Reaper first try, which I rubbed it in my little bro's face. So as you can see here, besides these three armor and this armor right here, you got the creeper costume, the fox one from, obviously, the, what does the fox say? Vampire and the reaper, grim reaper. Now, since this is loud, actually. Volume. There, that's better. Okay. As you guys can see now, this is my world, this is my house, and honestly, this actually wasn't like this, where I'm at, I'm at over here. This all used to be on the ground, this used to be the top of the ground, and then it goes down here, and then you're down here. But anyways, what I'm really here is probably just to show you all my armor. You got, I'm probably going to do a review on, say, turtle armor, how good it is. So, for example, on how good it is, if we go find a good enemy that will fight us. Uh, first of all, where the fuck are you in there? <sighs> Give me that door. Now you could die. Alright, sorry. Um, if I could go find an enemy, I will show you guys on how good this is. Oh, there we go. And this doesn't touch me. And see how he took damage, guys? I'm not even hitting him. Turtle armor, if you have the full set, what it does is it basically, the full set pretty much just reflects the damage. It reflects 100% of the damage. So, say, for example, of those of you who have Terraria still, if you have, say, you're going to Skeletron's dungeon, for example, and you haven't killed Skeletron, the dungeon guardian, you could easily kill him. Just, you gotta be fast about it. So I don't even have to really even attack these guys because they're just hurting themselves. See? Oh, I got Rotten Chunk. And he dead. See? No damage. I'm not even swinging a weapon. And then, But they have to be touching you. It has to be like, obviously like that. I can't be like, say, bullets and crap like that. Alright, everyone get out of here. Everyone get out. Everyone get out. Whoa, he went flying. Alright. So that's also one thing that it does. Also, another thing is it gives you great defense. And I use this, obviously, for melee stuff because I like swinging swords. Not that I kind of sword, but... And I'm almost dead, so... There. I don't feel like using potions. And also, guys, what I have found out from uh, another YouTuber that I was watching a couple days ago is if you want to keep your corrupt from spreading put sunflowers just place them down I found out that they don't spread for some reason like when there's a sunflower I don't know why but heck if it, as long as it keeps it from spreading then I don't care and I'm probably gonna show if I can't there's a fox son of a bitch Alright, 
I'm probably gonna show if I probably can I am hopefully gonna show you guys where a life fruit looks like and they're really kind of hard to see but not really it's if you have great good eyes and a lot of light as you guys can see here I have the wisp in the bottle so he provides me light and let's see let's see if we can find one um, you can easily tell what they look like they're basically a heart not like this but um, let's see. Oh, and there goes my mother walking. I'm sorry, guys, too, in advance if she's really loud at first. Because she, she is always loud. But her and my aunt are always loud. And there they are talking right now. Well, my mom, at least, to my little brother. Let's see, where can we find a life room? A violet husk. No, I want a red husk. Mmm. Where, oh where, oh where. Life fruit. They're really, not, they're rare, but not too rare. So, they're a samurai rare. I guess, I don't know what a samurai rare is, but if you guys get what I mean by samurai rare, then you will understand. And also, guys, in order to make um, the turtle armor, is you need to kill the giant tortoise. Oh, see, it's right there. I got the turtle shell. You need three of those. And I'm going to kill my little brother because he can't be quiet. Alright. So, if we, get, if we are lucky, I could probably show you guys. And I have, I think, two other turtle shells back at my house. So, once I get the chance, I can show you guys what how to make it. And oh my god, I'm going to kill this kid. Alright. Drink a potion. Oh, right there. Oh, you guys can't really see it. Well, okay. If you could kind of see it right there, guys, I'm sorry about the lighting. Uh, yeah, if I move my thing up a little bit, you can kind of see between those two waterfalls that little heart. Basically, that's a life root right there. Oh, there it was right there again. Oh, here's even better. Get the hell out of here. Do I have broken armor? What is that? Oh. Okay, well, anyways, let's see. Here it is. A life fruit. And as you guys can see, my hearts are yellow instead of red, which is different. So if I could drop this. Oh, no, that's a bad spot. There you go. You guys see it right there? I don't want to move my light over there because it's really bad, but you guys can kind of see it. That's what they look like. They are, are pretty hard and they're in different kind of plants. Or they are... You gotta really keep your eyes out. So, if you can, get a shine potion. Walk really slow around the jungle and stuff. So, if we head back now. I still got that turtle shell, right? Yep, I do. Okay. Get rid of all this all the useless junk. And I had, I don't know why, but last night when I was doing videos and I couldn't really do them, I got this rocket launcher from nowhere. Well, I probably got it from something, but I just don't remember what. So let's see. There's, oh, I only have one. Huh. Okay. Alright, so. As you guys can see right here, you're going to need, if you have, if your world either has, because your world has a chance to, in the new update that came out, your world has a chance to replace Mithril, Cobalt, and Animantite with, um, what is the ore? Uh, Padillium, Orchum, or I don't know how to say that one, I'm sorry guys, Orchium? I don't know, I'm stupid. And Titanium. Titanium is equivalent to Animantite, Orcha, Orchum or I am call it that is equivalent to Mithril and this Vidalion is equivalent to Cobalt. So once you have that and at Chlorophyte is probably is stronger than all these. So like you could get these armors and then hollowed and then Chlorophyte and then from there you're basically okay. Then from Chlorophyte you go to Turtle Shroomite or Spectra. Spectra I have, but I gave it to my little brother. But anyways, back to this. You're going to have to have a Mithril or Orchum Anvil. 
and from there you go all the way here oh hmm actually huh I really need to make this armor too screw it okay anyways I say the best thing to get for you guys to make is the um, the turtle scale mill make one of those I just do I have two now yes okay and then from there, I would say, hmm, target you. Yeah, either way, I would say equip the trail leggings too. So now you have, what? Oh, there they are. Alright, so now you have these two. And you can also get another turtle shell. They're not, they're actually kind of rare because I've killed so many in this jungle, in this world, and I have not. I've only gotten two from this world. And I've been playing this and ever since the new update came out, I played this like for two weeks straight maybe and I've only gotten two. So if you guys are you are more lucky than me and how you guys are wondering, since I only got two, how the heck do I have a full set? My little brother gave me the armor. So there's your explanation. But yeah, so there's a review guys on Turtle armor and it's really good. It gives you great defense with 17 plus 27. What is that? That's like 44. And then plus another 21. That's like a 65. Yeah, so if I could do this, this. Don't need you, don't need you. Alright, so if I could do this over here. Just to see if I'm right. I'm probably, probably wrong, but. Uh, no, 65, okay. So, even without all my equipment at Wandering, because Wandering is obviously the best, for defense at least, my defense is 65, which is really great. So, even without all my equipment, I'm still probably overpowered because the enemies take damage back. And then, if I was to have you back on... Yeah, I'll just equip it like this. Equip, 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 equip. Back at 81, if I get this up to a 4, wandering, so I would have 85, which I am really overpowered. And along with some like other potions to help you out, you could probably get to 100 defense, which I almost did before. I got 98 defense before. It was pretty crazy. I was probably really overpowered. But, yeah guys, that's probably it. This is probably a review on how to what life would look like and how to find them really um, review on turtle armor what else um, and that's about it guys and also if you guys are wondering what weapons are these if you don't know yet uh, this is the tiara blade you get Excalibur and Night Edge and you ha your world has to be in hard mode and from hard mode you could get the solar eclipse which is actually pretty rare as you guys can see here, I have the Excalibur. A lot of life fruit that my little brother duplicated, which I'm probably going to sell. Because I don't like duplicated items, along with this, too. And here's hollowed armor and all. So you need, from the solar eclipse, you need three broken hero swords. And just to show you what they are. They're obviously a broken hero sword, so you take... Either Night Edge, or well, you need both Night Edge and Excalibur. You go to an anvil, and you go, let's see, and you can make the true Excalibur or true Night Edge. And if I am right, let's see, where is it? Uh, there's Excalibur, what's that? I don't know, okay. Where... Yeah, so you need a Night Edge, and then there's True Excalibur, and then True Night Edge, which for some reason why Night Edge is stronger than True Excalibur. I don't know why they did that. It's probably a certain reason, but it's okay. And then from there, you need, a, you need three Broken Hero Swords. One to make the True Night Edge and Excalibur, and one another one to combine them both to get Tiara Blade. Also from the Sword Eclipse is... The Deathsicle, which is actually my favorite weapon. TR Blade is too, but you just can't hold it down. You gotta keep on pushing it. With the Deathsicle, you just hold it down. 
yeah, and that's probably it, guys. I'm probably all the, that's probably I'm gonna do for this video. I can't say my words right. I kept on repeating myself and all. But if you guys want more, I'm probably gonna do more reviews on Tiaria and all the stuff for the update. Cause for those who even look it up, anyways, you could probably find certain things. There's probably certain things some YouTubers don't have yet, and you'd be super lucky to even get it. Which I don't even know if I have anything from that, but. Yeah, guys, that's probably it for this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!